This topic is the imaginary number I. Here we have a whole bunch of horrifying nastiness, which we can make a lot easier by taking those negatives out from the radicals. How can we do this? By using I. I is equal to the square root of negative one. So these negatives inside of the radicals become I. You just pull that I right out. So in the first one, we have i times the square root of x to the fifth plus xi times the square root of 25 x squared minus i or x squared i times the square root of 25 x. And now this is just a matter of simplifying the radicals down. The square root of x to the fifth, well, we can take out an x squared, an x squared, and an x. So here we have i times the square root of x squared times the square root of x squared times the square root of x. Here we have x times i. We'll pull apart the root 25 and the root x squared. Minus x squared i. Again, we'll pull apart the root 25 and we'll leave the root x intact as it is. Now the square root of x squared, that's the absolute value of x because we have an even index. So here we have i times the absolute value of x times the absolute value of x times the square root of x. Plus, the square root of 25 is 5. And the square root of x squared is the absolute value of x. Minus, here we have the square root of 25 again is 5, and we'll leave that root x in there. Now let's make things look a little bit nicer. Because we have the square root of x in here, that means that x has to be greater than 0 or equal to 0. So those absolute values, they're redundant. We don't need them anymore. So here we have i times x times x times root x plus 5xi x. Minus 5x squared i root x. And now let's combine some things a little bit. Here we have x squared i times the square root of x plus 5x squared i minus 5x squared i times the square root of x. And now x squared i times the square root of x minus 5x squared i times the square root of x is negative 4x squared i times the square root of x. So our final answer is 5x squared i minus 4x squared i times the square root of x. We could pull out an x squared i, but we'll leave it just as it is. This is perfectly fine. Thank you for watching.